What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's the Cushman here and we're going to be doing a week 11 update on our Topanga Canyon OG grow and oh my god have things changed since last week. So we are only one week into flower right now and these bad boys have exploded or I should say bad ladies because we have now figured out that one, two, three, four, five of our plants are females. The one right in the middle back there has not shown a sign one way or another, but we do have five out of six that are confirmed females so far. They all got these nice little white pistols coming out. Got a little bit of pistol poppage there. A Little bit of pistol poppage there. And these other three also have some pistol poppage going on. I was really concerned because I thought that one was a Hermie for show. It was uh, showing a little bit of weird signs on me, but eventually the pistols popped and we are in the clear now. That one, I'm really hoping the same thing is gonna happen here because obviously it's stuffed in the middle of these two and then I'd have to dig it out the side here, which is kind of a pain in the ass to get to because it's right by all of our other shit over here. And speaking of our other shit over here, we are still using the transitional feed. So that is our week four on this chart here. Uh, I am going to switch to the early bloom week five. After this next feeding, I haven't watered them yet today. Still using the general hydro line. I haven't switched anything up. Uh, I am not using the CalMag anymore since we discovered that issue. Uh, we're still watering them once a day. They seem to like that a lot. They uh, drink plenty enough. Uh, this top just starts drying out after a day. So like it's about noon 30 on Thursday, the day after that I watered them. I watered them about five o'clock yesterday and they're just starting to get a little dry around the edges. So uh, typically once they dry out a little bit more than that, it seems about uh, every 24 hours exactly is when I, when I end up watering them, give or take. We're still using our gravity bucket over here. Thing works perfect. Um, I am gonna try and recycle my dehumidifier water. So right now I have this hooked up, just run into a drain, but I think I'm gonna get a big reservoir and then just filter it into that reservoir. And then I can water the plants from there. So that way I'm not uh, running up my water bill to feed them. I only have six plants. It takes about two and a half gallons a day. Uh, this dehumidifier is a, I believe it has a one gallon reservoir and I'd have to empty it twice a day to keep it, to keep it running. So I'm, I'm hoping that's about the uh, amount that I use to water the plants right now. That'd be great if I didn't have to uh, pay for the water to keep these plants fed, you know. Save some money anywhere you can, right? So what we're going to do for the next week, uh, we, like I said, we're going to switch the nutrient schedule to the week five give them a little bit more of that bloom. Uh, and then I'm gonna start feeding them a little bit of molasses because I am using the Great White Mycorrhiza and since uh, we're growing in cocoa, it doesn't have anything to feed those microbes. And I've been reading a lot into it and I guess uh, you can use molasses, just like one tablespoon per gallon once a week and then that way you can keep your microbes fed and the microbes are what basically deliver the nutrients to, to your plant roots and allow it to uptake at a uh, better rate or a more efficient rate, I should say. It's not going to make a huge difference. We're splitting hairs here, but you know, I'm trying to do it the right way and learn as much info as I can. And that's what I've come to um, based on what I've been reading online, which is uh, plentiful. Um, we're also going to give them a nice defoliation today. So I'm going to get in there. I'm going to trim off a bunch of these fan leaves that are all overgrown in here. Our canopy is very overgrown right now. Our he humidity is fine, so that's not a problem. But I would like to get some of these lower bud sites that aren't co quite coming through the canopy. I'd like to get them a little bit more light, see if they can pop through. Uh, have a little bit more of an even canopy so we don't have so many of these like flyer branches that are sticking way up there. But uh, anyways, that's it for this week. I thank you guys for stopping in. Make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Stay updated with all of our latest videos. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by and I will catch you next time. Peace out.